Hi, welcome back to Geometry. This is section 6.5, Conditions for Rhombus, Rectangles, and Squares. The objective in this lesson is to determine whether a parallelogram is more specifically a rhombus, rectangle, or square. You'll remember from today's activity that we sorted them based on their properties. It's essential to your understanding that you can determine if a parallelogram is a specific type of parallelogram based on the properties of its diagonals. So that would be the focus of this lesson. Theorem 616, if the diagonals of a parallelogram are perpendicular, then the parallelogram is a rhombus. So this is slightly like the converse of the theorem we previously had 613, where we said if a parallelogram is a rhombus, then its diagonals are perpendicular. Well, if you know the diagonals are perpendicular, then you can say it's a rhombus. Also, Theorem 617, if one diagonal, so you only need to know one, of a parallelogram bisects a pair of opposite angles, then the parallelogram is a rhombus. So if you know one diagonal bisects a pair of opposite angles, then you know it's a rhombus. Previously, 614, we said that if a parallelogram is a rhombus, then the diagonals bisect each pair of opposite angles. So this is like the converse of that theorem. Lastly, theorem 618. If the diagonals of a parallelogram are congruent, then that parallelogram is a rectangle, because you know that's true of all rectangles. So because in this parallelogram, A, B, C, D, the diagonals are congruent, then I can say this is a rectangle. If the diagonals were congruent and perpendicular, then you would know that you have a rectangle and a rhombus, which is a square. In today's activity in class, we discovered these theorems, and we'll practice this some more tomorrow in class.